Welcome to Web 3.0 Site Builder, the online version. Um, Web 3.0 Site Builder was launched last year as a desktop application, and this year we've created an online version so there's no need to download any software. You can access it from anywhere using any internet device, whether it's a Windows laptop or PC, an Apple, iPads, etc. Um, and the software is going to build you sites exactly like this one, which is uh, Web 3.0. You'll see it's got a customizable navigation menu. Uh, everything moves nicely. Uh, this is what a Web 3.0 site looks like. You can put any images in. You can even embed videos, as we've done here. It comes with an integrated gallery. Uh, with a light box, so you just click the image and the light box comes up. And you've got a customizable area with five customizable buttons. Uh, any colors, of course, you can select. There's a contact form and also an optional capture you can include there as well. Again, everything is customizable from the colors and so forth. Down here, we've got uh, social media integration. There are other social media, um, including Dribble, uh, Pinterest, Flip, and so forth. Uh, and you've got a footer area with some more links here. And these sites are really uh, impactful. They're mobile responsive, and they're very quick and easy to make. And that's what uh, Web 3.0 Site Builder uh, does for you. So I'll show you the online uh, feature that we have, the application that you get. So literally, you get instant access. It will look like this. Um, now, two things that we've uh, added here that are quite important. One is um, when you get a question. Now, to build your your sites, all you're doing is filling in the blanks. So here it says, for example, uh, select the background color, and all you would do is using the color code picker you select the color that you want if you're not sure what the question means there's also uh, there'll be a description and we've got a graphic tool tip here so you click that and it will show you exactly where the question relates to on the web page and literally all it is is a question of going through question by question filling in the blanks now uh, once you've built a site you can save it actually you can save it at any time and you can then upload and make changes so I'm going to for the sake of speed upload one that we've already done so you click here the upload so find your your saved project okay now the, the product uh, project is uploaded and you'll see because I've already done it we've got a selector stage so that if I wanted to go and just edit one particular part and without going through all of the questions I could just, just go straight to for example the site title here and click go and then I could change that and then if I go back to the near the end um, so here we've got buttons now if I decided I didn't want to have a button an extra button I'll just click naught there click next and all you do then at the end of it make sure you keep click this button to download a, a copy of the project so that you can um, you can upload it and edit it at any time and then you just click the download button and it will download the website as a zip file to your desktop. So once you've um, created your site, it will download the site as a zip file. So all you need to do is unzip it with any zip program that you have there's plenty available we, we recommend 7-zip uh, which is very easy to use and it's free so 
new 7 zip here. Oops. Extract files. Okay. Now, here it is. Okay, now on the desktop, uh, we'd open the index file. Uh, index.php if you want to use the capture, but that will only work when you actually upload it to your web server. So let's have a quick look here now. Okay, so there's the, the uh, site that we've made. And you'll see everything is as it should be. Here are the default images. It works in that way. Now, uh, and we've got the buy now button. We can have up to five buttons there if we wanted to. Um, and we've hidden the contact form on this one. And we've got social media down here. And let me show you how to change the images. All you would do if you've okay, so if you want to uh, change the images, which no doubt you will do, I'll show you how it's done. Here's the uh, the OTO with the image niche set. So, for example, let's say we wanted to use this set here. So, literally, all you would do is uh, select all of those, copy, and then you'll go to your website. And all you're going to do is paste those over the top. So we'll put yes, yes to all. Okay, and these will all be changed now as well, as you can see there. And if I go back to the website now and refresh the page, okay, and we see now all the images have changed. So all we'd have to do is upload the new images and the new website to the server. And that really is all there is uh, to it. I hope that's clear. If you've got any questions, we've got a support desk. We felt this was an easier way of doing the images rather than selecting them uh, through the website builder because they would actually be 18 separate images you'd have to do one by one whereas this way you can just overwrite them very quickly yourself uh, in the same way that I've just shown you. Okay thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you on the inside.